Welcome back, this is Yamachak. We're going to play some, not Biolabs, I want to play Biotics Lab. That was a good one on the Kakiri Forest. I like Kakiri Forest, it's a fun map. I am, I, I said earlier, this week that um, I'm not actually suffering, so it's not actually that hot in my room. That has changed <laughs> by this point. It is hot. Oh. <laughs> It is really hot in here, but I I suffer for the sake of for the sake of the audio quality. You know, the audio quality is the one thing I've got going for me here. You know, that's what puts me apart. Not really. Maybe it is. I don't know. It's the one thing that uh, I feel is better than your your average. My audio setup is the one thing that I feel to be better than your average. You know, just started out YouTuber. You know. Commentary, maybe, maybe not so much better. Maybe, maybe a little bit better, but no, not by much. But the uh, the audio quality itself, I feel, is uh, is pretty good. And to have my window open, just you know, ruining the audio quality for no other reason than to provide me with comfort for the uh, long recording sessions that I do. I mean, it's just, it's not worth it. On some days, you know, it was it was uh, too funny because um, with COVID, they're actually, and we haven't had much wind lately either, um, so we haven't had much wind, and COVID has been keeping people inside, so there actually hasn't been much noise from having my window open lately. So in the previous videos, um, my window was open, and it was like not really making enough of an impact for me to want to uh, to close it to to improve the uh, the audio quality, but now. People are moving around again. It's June. No, it's May 31st. I can't count. I'm good at counting. It's uh, <laughs> you know, it's it, it's starting to come up to where people are starting to go back to work again and live, and the world is starting to exist again. Um, so cars are moving around a lot more, right? And uh, yeah, it's good for them, I guess. But makes a lot of background noise, especially motorcycles. Like the motorcycles are, are really out there right now, and they are loud. I want to get a motorcycle. And I was just complaining about them being loud, but I don't mind them being loud. I mean, I do, but I'm not mad at them for being loud. You know, if you want to, I live like not too far off a uh, bit of a highway. It's not a highway, but like it's kind of a highway. So when there's no cars out, people tend to speed butt down it. And uh, because of that, it's actually a pretty bad intersection that I live by. It's one of the most dangerous intersections um, in Canada. One of. Um, but, you know, if people want to rev up their engines a little bit back there, you know, it's it's okay. I, I forgive you. Anyway, I want a motorcycle. We do get snow here, though. And I feel like... A motorcycle would probably be able to handle snow better than my car can. So maybe I could just go full time bike, but I'm not sure. Like, my car is not really good at uh, the snow anyway, so I'm already not really driving during the snow. So, like, if I just had a motorcycle and I just didn't drive that in the, in the snow either, I mean, it's not really changing anything, right? Um, and I feel like it would probably be able to drive in the snow if I desperately had to better than my car could anyway. Um, but the thing on a motorcycle is that you aren't really worried about yourself so much. You're worried about the other people who are going to completely disrespect you and, and not give you the space that you need. So even though I might be better in the snow as a driver on a motorcycle, you know, after I get practice, obviously, if you just put me on a motorcycle right now when I have no experience and, and toss me in the snow, like I'm probably not even going to be able to move without just instantly falling. Like, if I if I had proper traction, I might be able to, to move a few feet. Um, but, like, in the snow, I probably can't even move. Um, but, I mean, I can't really move in my car either, so, like, you know, it's not saying that motorcycle is easy, it's saying my car is really bad. Um, so I do want a motorcycle, because I don't know, I like them. They seem like fun. And also cheaper. Okay, we really gotta... I like killing... Oh, we didn't get it. 
I like killing them before they rage, because it's a little bit harder to hit their heads after they rage, but it's ultimately, it doesn't really matter. I mean, get pushed back a little bit, but it's fine. Motorcycles are, um, generally speaking, I feel like they're um, cheaper insurance. Not by much in, uh, in BC, because of uh, some new, like, insurance garbo. Pay like $160 a month right now. I think I talked about this in a previous video, but it's a, it's a lot of money that I pay. Just be able to drive a car. And I don't even drive it right now, so I'm just paying $160 bucks a month and I'm not even driving. It's so annoying. Like, I wish I could just cancel it, but then I also do sometimes drive it, so like, I can't really just cancel it. Um, but I feel like a motorcycle would probably be cheaper just because motorcycles are generally cheaper than cars like a new motorcycle doesn't cost you okay sure some motorcycles are gonna be expensive you know but I'm not driving a Tesla I'm not gonna buy you know the most expensive motorcycle out there either right so like a cheap motorcycle is probably cheaper than uh, a cheap car right like new I don't know maybe so it's probably cheaper on insurance as well I think technically I should be getting a discount on my insurance just because of um I mean I should I know I should be because of uh I don't drive it much um but I keep forgetting I, ke I kept forgetting to bring in um like a picture of my um like kilometers the odometer I think it's called um because if I were to have brought that in like last year when I got my insurance done then I would have got a discount this year because I drove like under 5,000 kilometers or something like that um, so I did bring the picture this time, and next time I go, I should get uh, a discount on it. And I think also my car is technically a classic, so I think I'm supposed to get a discount on it there as well, but I'm not sure. I don't know how all this insurance stuff works. I barely know how cars work, man. My father says that it's a classic, and I should get a discount, though, so if I'm wrong, I blame him. It's a 19... 1970... I don't know what it is. Okay, get out of here. We're done this thing, I'm out. I don't like this area very much. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> oh my god. Why? I don't like you. I don't like you either. It's a 19... Uh, I can never remember what year it is exactly. Oh my goodness. I think... Oh my! I had no idea you were coming up from there. Oh. Boy. <laughs> Hello. Um. <laughs> I had a... Uh, oh, another one. Hello. I am prepared for you this time. It's 1980 or 1978. I think it's a 78 prelude. It's a prelude. Uh, I know that. I think it's a 78 prelude. And I think that's technically a classic because of its age. So I think technically I can get a discount on my insurance, but I've never asked about it because I'm also like, is it a classic? I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's it's nuts out here. They just and I'm still technically a new driver, so I've really got to go get my uh, my full license. But then with COVID right now, I'm not sure you even like really can, because that's not really social distancing being in the same car with somebody. <laughs> so who knows? Uh, where are you going to be coming from? Up there. You're coming up from up there, right? Yeah, yeah, there you are. Okay, I thought you would have launched it by then, and then you didn't. So I'm kind of sad. I want to be over here. This is a good place to kite her around. This is this is a good place to kite her. So you have lots of, of opportunity to duck into a, a little spot here. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Bring it. Uh, I'm kind of off on the pattern right now, so this ain't working so hot. Bring it. Okay. Now bring it again. I'm interested in you bringing it here. Thank you. See, I think I might be able to get a discount on it, technically, but I'm also not super sure. I'll have to check next time I get, um... I mean, I will get a discount on it from the, um, the mileage. So, that'll be nice, at least. But... Wow. She got dusted right there. Ho! Oh. I'll get a discount on it from the mileage. Um, not sure about a classic. Not sure if I'm even drive. Not sure if I'll even be driving it next year, because, uh... Maybe, maybe I'll have committed to the motorcycle. Who knows? Or maybe I'll be rich. And I'll buy like a plane. That's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.